through the moment. You have to wait two hours virtually. And then what was it actually like up there? It was, it was terrifying. I mean, I was obviously, I was so happy to have got where I had got to, but, you know, I wanted just to go the full way and win it. And I was standing out there and I was just thinking, oh, it's not me, it's not me, it's not me. And then when they said my name, I, as you could probably see, me and Cheryl just kind of pushed away from each other and jumped around like idiots. Cheryl was, she almost completely lost it. She's been very emotional about you, hasn't she? Yeah, I think it's because we've, worked, we've both worked really hard with the song choices and everything. And I think it all built up to that tense night. And it was just like, like I was emotional, she was emotional. And it was a really, really emotional night because somebody was either going to win or lose. And it was a bit like, what's going to happen? And when you think about the amount of viewers that were probably watching, I mean, yeah. you know, it's tens of millions. There, there was absolutely millions of people watching. And I think that as well adds to the pressure because you think like, there's all these people watching and I'm going to find out whether I've won or I've lost. Or, and I think it's like a big, there was just a lot of pressure and I think it brung around a lot of emotion. What was it like being on stage with Sir Paul McCartney? I, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, first George Michael and then... <laughs> They give Paul McCartney to her, all the contestants and say, right, you can perform with them if you want. And we're like, OK. Um, but it was such an honour. I mean, he's an absolute legend and so happy that I could do it. It'll be something I'll always remember.